DeepMind's artificial intelligence surpasses human intellect. Alphabet's AI research branch, DeepMind, has released the latest version of its language model. They believe it has reading comprehension comparable to a high school student, which is both innovative and alarming as well. By absorbing enormous amounts of literature online, the language model, known as Gopher, was able to dramatically increase its reading comprehension. But is it true? Can DeepMind's AI surpass human intellect just like that? In this episode, we'll talk about what DeepMind's newest project has to offer, how it differs from similar models, and whether DeepMind's artificial intelligence can truly surpass human intellect. But before that, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe. Think you like what you see? Then also be sure to hit that bell icon while you are at it, to ensure that you are notified every time we come out with a fresh new piece of content for you. That being said, let's begin. DeepMind, Alphabet's AI research division, has unveiled the newest generation of its language model, saying that it has reading comprehension similar to that of a high school student. It claims that the language model, known as Gopher, was able to greatly improve its reading comprehension by integrating large quantities of literature online. They also claim that they will soon demonstrate their new AI model's never-before-seen capabilities. DeepMind claims that its ultra-large language model method has 280 billion parameters, which represent the size and complexity of the language model. This falls between OpenAI's GPT-3, which has 175 billion parameters, and Microsoft and NVIDIA's Megatron, which has 530 billion parameters. According to DeepMind, we will be able to securely and effectively synthesize knowledge, provide expert advice, and follow orders using natural language. According to a DeepMind study, the model was able to achieve human-level proficiency in a test by scoring high enough on a high school reading comprehension exam. Its math and reasoning abilities, on the other hand, were lacking, showing a lack of advancement. In general, the more parameters you have, the more accurate your results will be. However, despite the model's size, other obstacles such as reading comprehension and the maintenance of harmful beliefs are proving more difficult to overcome. His Gopher algorithm has already been used in commercial products like digital assistants and translators. In a test, Gopher was able to have a whole conversation with a human with astonishing coherence, according to DeepMind. As the commercial viability of ultra-large language models increases, they have raised ethical issues among AI researchers and social scientists. The fact that the models commonly acquire racial, ethnic, and gender preconceptions from the texts on which they are trained, as well as the fact that the models are so intricate that it is difficult to uncover and track these biases before deploying the system, are among the concerns. For example, GPT-3, an OpenAI language AI, commonly associates Muslims with violent themes and regurgitates professional gender norms. Another major concern with such software is that it consumes a disproportionate amount of energy to train and run, contributing to global warming. Several linguistics and AI scientists have encouraged computer businesses to stop building AI systems because of these hazards, as well as the fact that, despite their scale, AI systems have yet to achieve human-level language understanding. In connection with the release of its Gopher study, DeepMind sought to inoculate itself against this criticism by concurrently publishing a research article in which its own AI ethics team looked into these issues and attempted to suggest strategies to overcome them. A DeepMind AI ethics researcher noted, Our view is that language model research, if done properly, has the potential to unlock a range of good uses. The researchers categorized the 21 ethical issues they uncovered into six broad categories, ranging from illicit software usage to the software's capacity to spread disinformation to environmental repercussions. The DeepMind ethics team, on the other hand, emphasized that there is no silver bullet for tackling many of the issues that ultra-large language models pose. One important conclusion they reached was that revealing the full scope of potential ethical concerns necessitates the involvement of a variety of specialists. DeepMind also published separate research on a technique that could make large language model creation more energy efficient and potentially make it easier for researchers to detect bias and toxic language, as well as verify information sources, demonstrating that it was making progress and addressing some of the ethical harms that ultra-large language models pose. The equipment, known as a Retrieval Enhanced Transformer, or RETRO for short, has access to a 2 trillion word database, which is used as memory by the application. When given a human-written request, the system chooses the closest section from its training set, identifies the next closest text block, and then shapes its response using those two accepts. When it comes to answering questions that need a truthful response, Gopher has certain shortcomings. 
A dialogue between Gopher and a researcher is one example given in the study report, in which Gopher gives erroneous answers to fact-based questions. When asked who will win the Women's US Open in 2021, Gopher responds, Naomi Osaka, whilst Emma Raducanu is the correct answer. Also, when asked if there were any French-speaking nations in South America, Gopher said, no, the response. The response should have been yes, because French Guiana is a French-speaking South American Republic. It also supplied the wrong solution to a math problem. This highlights one of the risks of technology. It may deliver inaccurate replies that people understand as correct. DeepMind will likely need to improve in a few areas in the future. According to academics, overcoming these difficulties will be important for ensuring safe interactions with AI entities. These interactions will vary from a human informing an AI agent of their desires to the AI agent explaining its behavior to others. Google confirms its aims to continue its language model developments while being as cautious, deliberative, and open as possible. This necessitates it to take a step back and examine the situation it finds itself in, drawing out possible threats and researching mitigation options. It is hoped that by using this strategy, they would be able to build enormous language models that will aid society in achieving its goal of solving intelligence to advance science and serve humanity. Ultra-large language models have already resulted in more fluent chatbots and digital assistants, more accurate translation software, better search engines, and systems that can summarize complex publications. On the other hand, DeepMind indicated that it has no plans to commercialize Gopher. Right now, it isn't the aim. The vice president of research at DeepMinds stated, because most human information is stored in language, some academics, notably those at OpenAI, think that through constructing larger and larger language models, scientists can ultimately achieve artificial general intelligence. That's the term computer scientists use to define AI, which means it's as intelligent as a person, capable of creating a symphony and simplifying factory processes, and at least as capable, if not more capable, than humans. DeepMind, like OpenAI, is one of the few companies that has declared artificial general intelligence as a goal. Its researchers, on the other hand, claimed that they do not believe that ever bigger language models would inevitably result in human-like intelligence. While we don't believe that language or scale is the only way to go, said Aurel Viniels, a DeepMind researcher who worked on the company's new language AI system, we see it as part of a broader portfolio of approaches that we're studying at DeepMind to achieve our mission to solving intelligence to advance scientific and benefit humanity. The amount of data that the language models need to handle at any given time is reduced when it has access to this form of memory. As a result, the model may be smaller and train and run with less energy. Even though GPT-3 is 25 times larger, DeepMind claims that a 7 billion parameter retro model could match OpenAI's performance. Researchers may also examine exactly which section of the training text the retro software is using to create its results. Researchers think that with DeepMind, it will be easier to detect bias or inaccuracy. Researchers are increasingly focused on more problematic topics, such as the potential for disseminating disinformation or propaganda as AI technology improves in processing language. Even with all of the information available on the internet, helping language models like Gopher and reading between the lines is proving more challenging than many AI researchers would like to acknowledge. So what are your thoughts on DeepMind's progress in clearly outperforming AI, in what was formerly regarded to be their defining domain in the AI industry? Do you believe Gopher will be able to fend off the next GPT iteration? Please share your thoughts with us in the comments area below. We'd be interested to hear your thoughts on the subject. With that, we'll wrap off today's installment of our weekly news. Next time, we'll bring you a more spectacular batch of technology-related news. If you loved this video, please give it a thumbs up, don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notification bell to view more of our weekly robotics and new technology updates. We'll see you again soon in the next one. Until then, peace.